Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Leus. Right now it is about 12.45. You just joined us back for Zoom check-ins and now you are watching my YouTube video for your art activity today. You'll check back in with me at 1.15, okay? But for now, you're gonna take the time to work on your art project. It should be finished by the end of today and if you wanna keep working on it later throughout the week, that's fine. At some point, I will be asking for this art project back actually so that I can laminate them and make them nice and pretty for either to give back to you or for us to hang up in our classroom for when we come back to school. But for now, let's go ahead and check out what you're doing. So this is just the beginning of my art project, but here's where this came from. So inside your binder, if you guys go to the very back of your binder, you guys had a folded up piece of paper way over here in the back. It should be tucked in right in this flap. Please get out that folded up piece of white paper. So if I fold this back up, it's going to look like this. Okay, and let me unzoom here so it looks a little bit more. There we go. So here it is. So what I want you to do is unfold it. Okay, and I already folded the 12 squares for you. Now I'm going to show you how I folded it in case you messed up so that you have another um, opportunity. I placed an extra white piece of paper in your binder. So get that out if you mess up and you wanna try again. Or you could always go ahead and move on to the back. That is why you'll be using colored pencils for this art project. If you have crayons, crayons are perfect. If you have markers, that's okay, but just realize that if you do marker, it will bleed through the back, okay? So in order to fold up your piece of paper, if you have it out like this, you're going to go ahead and fold it hot dog style. So you'll fold this and this in like so. And I'm sorry, my thing keeps adjusting. There we go. And then you're going to go ahead and fold that whole piece in half. So meeting the edges together and then make a crease. And then you're going to fold that in half as well and make a crease. So that way when you fold it out, you'll have 12 even squares. Notice that I have my name written on here. So I have my last name, L-E-U-S, which spells uh, Leus. If you wanna do your first name, you can. If you wanna do your middle name or your nickname, you are more than welcome to. The idea here is that you're gonna take the letters of your name and scatter them across the boxes. So I put L here, I chose E, U.S. You can put them anywhere. You could have them going backwards. It doesn't matter. They just need to be scattered throughout the page. Then all the other squares are going to be pictures, no words, but a picture of something that you hand draw yourself. So you're not going to print out any pictures. You need to hand draw it. And they're pictures representing you. So I'm going to show you what my examples are. This here is a drawing of an apple. I did an apple because I love to eat apples, but apples also represent the fact that I'm a teacher because apples remind us of teachers. This is a drawing of the ocean with some birds in the sun because I love to go to the ocean. Here is just a black square. Why is it black? Because black is actually my favorite color. So here is my favorite color. And notice my nails are black. Okay, and then this one, this is um, a picture of hearts because one of my favorite holidays is Valentine's Day. And then here, I know I did write the word Crayola, but I drew, I'm drawing currently a box of colored pencils or crayons to represent my artistic side. I love to do art. So again, you're going to fill in all the boxes. Notice that behind my L and my name, Leus, I did a pattern. The goal is to fill up all of the white space. Your goal is to have nothing... Uh, left that it has white paper left so you want to color in every single spot you can do patterns you can make your letters block or bubble letters whatever you want I want you guys to have fun and then again we will share these later and hopefully get them laminated so they look nice and neat up in our classroom all right you guys have fun working on your art project and I will see you today if you need me at virtual office hours okay bye-bye